Hey guys, Sarah here, mom of three, time management, productivity enthusiast, and lover of sharing things that work for me in order to help other moms like you out there. And I love sharing what we get our girls for Christmas because I just am a very thoughtful gift giver and I really spend a lot of time thinking about it and I know a lot of you guys have thanked me over the years for sharing because it's given you a lot of ideas. I've also been a daycare provider so I love play-based learning and learning through toys and play and arts and crafts and things like that and so I really am mindful of that when I am shopping for our kids. So I have three little girls ages six, four, and one who I shop for this Christmas and I am sharing with you what I got for them today. And I did not do like something to wear, something to read, something you want, something you need this year because I was trying to do that and as I was looking at it, I'm like, well, they don't need anything and I don't even, they don't need anything to wear. So I didn't wanna just buy stuff just to fit the category. So I just bought some things that I know we will love, I know we will use, things that they'll get a lot of play time out of that they can sit for a while and do so it's also a win for me since I'm with them 24 7 and so that was kind of my philosophy going into this first up are our leading up to Christmas gifts so I've gone back and forth over the years with advent calendars and things we do do the new tradition crafts advent calendar which is an ornament every single day leading up to Christmas we have a whole separate tree we started doing this last year I will link that below I haven't dug that out yet but um, that's just something we do every year. But we saw this Lego advent calendar at Target and my daughter's flipped because it has these like kid size Lego minifigures in them that they really wanted. So I thought, why don't we just do this? I just got one. I didn't want to have them each have an advent calendar and just spend extra money just to make it fair. So I'll just, they'll take turns opening it and I'm sure we'll fight over it, but that's life with siblings. So this is really cute. You have 24 days leading up to Christmas and it's got like Christmassy different figures. There's like a mistletoe, a fireplace with a stocking, a mixer, a little wreath on a light post, an envelope with a mailbox. So there'll be really cute things that we can still incorporate with our regular Legos, but honestly they really wanted the mini figures. So we'll be doing that. So this is the first year we're doing whole family matching pajamas normally the girls would match and sometimes we'd buy ourselves different pajamas because I don't always love the ones for Christmas but these were really cute and neutral and could be worn all year long so I got them for all of us. I still am looking for shirts for my husband and I because they didn't have ones that matched online but I'm sure once they're in stores I'll find some. So my toddler got this two-piece set and then my two older daughters got the nightgowns and then I got the matching pants for my husband and I and then we'll just get like a t-shirt or something to go with it. Okay so let's talk the big joint gift. Now this is not like a few hundred dollars worth of a joint gift. This is a hundred dollar, a little bit more than a hundred dollar joint gift but it's something I've been really really wanting to try but it was so much more than I would ever spend on them outside of birthdays and Christmas. And because it's a joint gift, I didn't want to give it to just one kid for their birthday. So I've been waiting. I have a friend who got one of these and she loves it. So that really made me like, okay, this is what we're getting. And that is the Yodo player. So if you guys don't know what this is, basically it is like a Bluetooth portable speaker that has audio books and radio shows and podcasts on little cards that you can put in and they can walk around with it and listen. They can plug headphones in and listen. You can also sync it to your phone and use it that way. But it's just a very durable, great speaker for kids. And what I love about it is the selection of books. Now I did pay for this myself. They're very popular right now. Um, I, I do have an affiliate link for you guys in the description, but I did pay for all of these things myself. So I really wanted that for quiet time, for when we're playing. I kind of want to get rid of our echoes. I just, I'm not a huge fan. We're constantly yelling at them and getting frustrated. And so I thought this would be a great alternative if we really like it. You can play music on it. You can link it to your phone, like I said, but it also has great audiobooks. And I love that the kids can be independent with it. They don't need to use my phone. They don't need to be yelling at it. They just take out a card and stick it in, which I will show you in a second. But I also went ahead and got the, uh, adventure jacket so they can carry it around it kind of keeps it a little safer um, I got the yellow one and they're really cute and they also have a club now I think it's $9.99 a month and you get two 
books a month or two cards a month sometimes they're books sometimes they're other things and you can change what you want each month so they'll have different options for different ages and different personality types and dislikes and likes and things like that so I love that so we can add to our collection throughout the year and I plan to also buy my kids these for every birthday and like their Easter basket anytime we're giving gifts I'm gonna throw some of these in because it's such an educational gift Along with the Yoda player, I also ordered the starter pack, so that will go in with the gift. And that has my first 100 words, so that would be great for my littlest one. Crackling Fire, might be kind of fun if they're playing. Story Shed, Robin Hood, Hotel Flamingo, Songs from On the Playground, and then a blank card. So you, that's the other thing, you can also make your own. And you can change them at any time so you could like have a playlist that you put on here you can um, buy an audiobook and put it on here or share with other people which is really cool so and then each of my three girls will get their own set of books or a bundle from yodo to go along with it that will be wrapped separately so my littlest one is kind of like too little to really care so i just threw in one that i wanted for all of them and that's this lady ladybird audio adventures so you go on five different audio adventures there's a deep sea dive amazing vehicles animal kingdom dinosaur times and outer space so i just thought that would be a really fun one to listen to as a family my four-year-old i got the gruffalo and friends collection so this has the gruffalo room on the broom monkey puzzle the smartest giant in town the snail and the whale and charlie's Charlie Cook's favorite book, so she can listen to that. And I forgot to mention, as they're listening, different pixelated images pop up, which is really cute, so it kind of tells the story in a visual form, but it's not like watching a screen, per se. It's just like a nice little added bonus when you're listening. And then for my oldest daughter, I just got this classic set of books. So we got Heidi, Alice in Wonderland, The Secret Garden, Snow Queen, and other stories and the wind in the willows and what I also love is they all come with these little pockets so you could they have like a 3m thing you could like stick this on the wall and have a whole bunch like if you're gonna have it in their room you could put it like on their bed or on the wall or on a board or the side of their dresser or something and have different books they could choose from but I plan to get like I think these are the exact same size as a credit card so I'm gonna get like a little credit card holder somebody told me about that so you can organize them all really easily Whenever I can, I really love to support small businesses, and there is an Etsy shop that I have been loving for over a year now. It's called Just Add Imagination Co. And Denise is the creator on there, and she makes the most adorable and beautiful play kits for kids. There's sensory elements, there's felt elements, there is Play-Doh you can get, and just different things in different scenes. And so I bought a bunch of these last Christmas and I'm adding to our collection this year. I just love to add more. I just think they're so beautiful and great small world play and ses sensory play for my girls. So they haven't come yet, so I thought I would just show you guys one that did come that I'm giving them at the beginning of November to like ring in Thanksgiving and to celebrate fall. So I'll show you this just so you get a sense of what they're like and then I'll tell you the three I got. She always adds in these little fa fact sheets. So this one has gnome facts and mushroom facts so your kids can learn some things. She always has like a little personal note in there um, and just her little information. And then I already opened this, but it's always wrapped so pretty with a bow and a sticker. So when you open them up, they're so fun to open. So I just, I love it. So this particular one comes with like some moss and some cotton and some leaves. It's got a little jar with a lid, how cute is that? A wooden scooper and a wooden tweezer tong things. It comes with this adorable little family with a gnome and a, a woman and then the little baby, how cute is that? And often you get to pick the colors too, which I love. And then there's a set of just like little acorns and mushrooms and trees and different things, little pieces of wood. And then this one comes with a nice package. This is called Fall Sensory, which is like different beans and things. So they'll have a blast playing with that. What I really love about Etsy too is that you can reach out and message the creator. So since I've bought from her a few times, I know she often updates her shop. So I reached out and said, is there any extra kits that are coming out soon? I want to place an order right now 
for all of it but i know you may not be able to ship them till you get them listed and she told me about this like rainbow unicorn set that has like a cloud castle and unicorns with the peg dolls that fit in and i was like sign me up so i ordered that it hasn't come yet because she's still making them and then i got i think an outer space one and then a superhero one and i love that you can always customize like if you want girls or boys like for the superhero um, i picked girls so that two of my girls can play at the same time and it's just so fun and i just absolutely love them my girls love them they're great to pull out on a rainy day or a time when you're like making supper and you just need them to like focus on something my kids absolutely love them so we love playing games as a family so i thought we would add three new games so each girl is getting their own game our oldest is getting this slapsy which i thought would be really fun so there's clue cards and there's pictures and it says slapsy is all about speed be the first to match the right picture cards to the right clue cards so it says like meant to go in your mouth so you would hit the cupcake or too heavy to lift would be a bulldozer um, and i just thought this would be really easy to play with um littler kids and as a family it'd be really fun for my middle daughter who loves all things princesses and girly loves princesses so i got this disney princess match the crazy cube game so you sit on opposite sides and you try to match and i just thought this would be really fun for two of us to play at a time like for one-on-one -on -one time and then for my one-year-old i just got this toddler scavenger hunt card set which i thought she might like i don't know if she'll even be old enough for this yet so it's ages two and up um, but it'd be a fun thing to do in the winter as a family like um it says can you find a book can you find a chair just different things to find around the house my girls love crafting and art so i thought i would get some sets that kind of go along with that love for them my oldest daughter is finally old enough to do the rainbow loom um she's done it at a friend's house and i didn't want to buy them until for sure she was ready and i think my four-year-old might be ready to start i don't even know what age it says seven it up but that's probably okay so i got this set and i got a huge set with lots of different colors and beads i just thought we'd go all out and i love that it's organized hopefully it'll stay that way for my four-year-old i got this picture mosaic so it's got different stickers of different shapes and you can pick which ones you want and stick on i just thought this would be perfect for her she loves stickers and she loves creating but it's also matching it's learning about shapes um and it will hopefully keep her occupied for more than two minutes and then for my one-year-old i thought this would be perfect so this is a double doodle board on one side she can just use her finger to kind of draw but it's not getting on anything and then on the back they can color on it with crayon but it comes off so it says 24 months and up but i think she would really enjoy this because we're gonna start trying to do more things at the table um, and that way she can kind of feel involved but um, not be like putting things in her mouth or destroying things because i do have kid crayons that would hopefully work with this like toddler crayons that she if she ate them wouldn't be the end of the world kind of going off of that i also wanted to get our girls more watercolors because they love watercolors but we just have the very basic like eight colors and they're always trying to mix colors and make new colors so i got my two biggest girls this set of i think it's like 48 colors yeah 48 colors um they will absolutely love this i cannot wait to see their little creations and then since my one year old's not old enough to paint yet um or i don't need special paints for her i got these dress up stickers for in the tub which they will all use together but i just thought these were really fun you can like mix and match the faces and the bodies and kind of play with it in the bath and then lastly i wanted another like more interactive fun activity to do my one-year-old isn't quite old enough for the thing i got my older daughters but i saw this montessori cube with these coins and i just thought it would be such a fun thing for her to do to learn how to put them in and then it's got a drawer to take them out and it's got the primary colors on them and so they could even play like um like this could be like a coin box and they could be paying or these could be their tickets or something but it's great fine motor and i think it would she would love this and then i have had my eye on these for quite a while and i'm so excited to give these to my two older girls these are the national geographic mega gemstone and fossil dig kits so there's like you know the sand rock clay disc and inside are gems and different fossils that they can find and so it's got 10 real gemstones 10 real fossils one extra large dig brick which i believe is this 
one excavation tool, one excavation brush, a magnifying glass, and a learning guide with instructions. And I, reading the reviews, like, some people got these for Christmas and they finally got the last gemstones and things out at Valentine's Day. So, I mean, obviously they're probably not working on it all day every day, but it'd be a fun thing to just pull out, find a gem or two, and then put it away. My kids love digging and breaking things, so this would be perfect and they love nature and rocks. So I got one for each of my big girls to do and I am so excited. So that is almost everything we're giving our girls for Christmas. They will still get one um, gift that they just want that we didn't spend a lot of time researching, but they're, I'm gonna wait till closer to Christmas because that could change um, and we have a lot of family who's getting them all kinds of stuff because they're the only grandkids on both sides. So I try to do gifts that are great for them but also kind of help us out too, like things that can occupy them and they can learn from and things like that. So that's kind of my philosophy. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have a stocking video coming out soon. I'll decorate my house for Christmas. You guys can come along. And I just love sharing things with you guys and my glue stick community. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween, happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon. Bye guys.